Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches. I had planned on doing a demo, but I thought when I did this eye look that I'm wearing right now that I was filming, but I wasn't. So unfortunately, I'll just have a review for you guys and some swatches. Um, anyways, on the new Lorac Pro 4 palette, this I was so excited to get because I'm a huge Lorac fan. Like literally, I will show you guys like I have a terrible obsession with... Lorac products, even their face products, and I just really love the brand, but I first fell in love with their eyeshadows. Um, the first ever palette that I got from them was, of course, the original Lorac Pro. Mine looks gross, but this is one of the like first palettes, too, that I hit pan on. Like This was just an everyday palette for me, and I love it, and this is one that I just feel like when I know I need just a palette that's going to do it all, smoky, neutral, anything, this is the one that I gravitate towards. I absolutely love it. When the second one come out, I didn't love the Lorac Pro 2. It was actually one that I did return. It just didn't work for me. And then this is the third one that they come out with, Lorac Pro 3. Now, this one I did a review on as well. I actually love the matte shades in here. They're very, very neutral, very easy to work with. But the shimmer shades, to me, were not the best. A lot of them are kind of chunky. You can see this too. And I didn't really like those, so I was kind of disappointed in this one but but I do love the Lorac Los Angeles palette you guys can see I mean all of these as you guys can tell it's a lot of use because I do love my Lorac palettes I even loved these they were just a little bit hard to work with the unzipped ones they come out with sunset ocean and mountain I just, where is mountain I thought I had that one too but maybe I don't but this one definitely was one that I reached for more but Anyways, this, guys, this is about the Lorac Pro 4. I was just saying, like I said, I do love their formula. So I do want to start with the packaging. It is the same packaging as all the other ones, except this one's purple, which I think is really, really pretty. One of the great things about Lorac palettes are how slim that they are, because they're very easy to travel with. I swear I could probably take all three of these to equal up to what some of one of my other palettes are. Um, but yeah, so this is just an overview in case you guys want to see. As per usual, you get a row of matte shades, which are here on the top, and then you get a row of shimmer shades. You get a total of 16. Again, 8 matte, 8 shimmer. I like that. That's one that, again, one of the things I always like about Lorac. And then you do get a mirror right behind here, which I'm not going to show because I don't want to blind you guys. Um, but yeah, so everything is pretty much the same. The layout's the same and everything. The colors in here are definitely more mauve more cool tones, which I love. You do have this gorgeous gold right here, which does lean a little bit more warmer, I feel, feel like, when you actually put it on the eyes. Now, if you are used to, like, the very first Lorac palette, those shimmer shades, this is the same way. They're super creamy. They're super buttery. But again, something that I love about Lorac eyeshadows is that they perform beautifully with your fingers or they prefer, perform beautifully with a brush, which a lot of people don't like to use their fingers. So you don't like to use your fingers. This is a great palette because you can use it um, with a brush, which is what I use um, to do the shimmer shade on my lid today. And the shade that I have on is the shade Iced Rose today. Um, so I, this is 40, yeah, this is $44, and like I said, you do get 16 shadows, but that is great. Starting out with their matte formula, it's super creamy, and it blends really nicely. There is quite a bit of fallout, kind of like with the Anastasia eyeshadows, but I do feel like Lorac eyeshadows have a, have a little bit more fallout. But if you're just barely dipping your brush in there, you know, you're going to be fine. But if you're going in there really hardcore, of course you're going to get eyeshadow everywhere. But I literally just dip my brush in there one time and that's pretty much enough. I don't really have to dip in there again at all. They blend out so incredibly easy and so smooth. And then the shimmer shades, all of them are super pigmented. Again, I'm just obsessed with them. My favorite shade in here, i got to be honest, is Silver Mauve, which I didn't think was going to be my favorite. But there's something about it on my eyes that makes it pop. Ooh, and I do like the shade Jop. When I did do the smoky eye look, I used this one, and I do love that one as well. So I love all the colors. Again, it is very different. The only thing that I noticed is that I think some of these shades might be like a repeat, like the shade Pecan. I don't know if they're the same, but the Lorac Mega Pro 3 has a shade right here, which is Pecan, and I do feel like they look very similar. The one in the Mega Pro 3, I feel like, is a little bit more, like, neutral, um, and this one's a little bit more cool. And then the shade of Black Current in here in Eggplant, I noticed, did look very similar as well. This palette looks disgusting because I use it a lot, too, but it's that shade right there. And then this one, this one's just, again, a little bit more of a cool tone purple. Um, but yeah, so overall, like I said, I don't feel like there's any, like, identical ones, but I did notice that, so I did, like I said, just want to mention that. But, 
Um, overall, like I said, I love this palette, but what I love most about this is how long it lasts on my eyes. If you're someone who has, like I said, very oily eyelids or hooded eyelids and you're worried about your eyeshadow creasing and not lasting all day, check out the Lorac eyeshadows because they do last a really long time. That is one of the things that really drew me in towards the very first original Lorac Pro is how long it lasted on my eyes without it fading, without it creasing. Even like I said, just using concealer and setting with a translucent powder works great. But I love this palette. I would highly recommend it if you guys haven't picked it up. And I might do like a chit chat, get ready with me and do another look using this palette. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe.